welcome to this customer installation briefing for the Riello UPS Netman communications card. First, check to see if a serial port connector is available on your PC. It looks like this. Many modern PCs no longer have a serial connection port. However, USB to serial converters are readily available from any PC component supplier. Then make sure your Riello UPS has a Netman card fitted. This is what the card looks like. And here are the locations it will be installed in the various models of UPS. There are two types of Netman card, internal and external. And here's some examples of what they should look like Check if there is a protective battery tab on the card, which will look like this, and remove it if fitted. Then take the female-to-female -female null modem serial cable supplied with the Netman card and connect the null modem cable between the PC and the serial port on the Netman card. Now ensure that the Netman card is powered. For internal netman versions, switch the UPS on. For external netman versions, please ensure the separate power supply is switched on. Now you will need to use a piece of software on your PC called a terminal emulator. On pre-Windows 7 PCs, you will find it from the main screen. Select the Start menu, followed by All Programs, followed by Accessories, then Communications. In the Communications menu, select the program called HyperTerminal. If you don't have a terminal emulator installed, or have another operating system like Linux, then you can download and install a free copy from the internet. Once you have your terminal emulation software ready, and a cable properly connected, you need to verify which comms port you are connected to. For example, using Windows, you can check here using Device Manager. When you load your terminal emulation software, you will be prompted as follows. Connection description. When prompted, enter a name for the connection, then select OK. This name is not relevant to this procedure, so anything can be used. When prompted, select the relevant COM port from the drop-down menu of the connections menu. This will be dependent on which communications port of the laptop or PC is to be used for the setup. When prompted, configure the port settings as follows. Once the Netman has booted up, press the escape key on the laptop or PC and you'll see a message prompting you to hit any key to log in. If it does not boot up, check the setup of your terminal emulator software and restart this procedure. When you see the login screen, you need to enter root as your login and press enter. You will then be asked for the password, which by default is password, all in lowercase. Then hit enter and the main setup menu will appear. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure the Netman card is communicating with the UPS you need to scroll down to UPS config. Enter that menu and then type in the PRTK code. This is usually situated on the rear of the unit. There are two types of PRTK codes. For smaller units, it's G, P, S, E, R, 1, 1, 201RU And for the Master Plus units it's S E N T R 19601RU Once the code is entered you can give the UPS a name if you want to When that's done press escape and you will have the option to press T for testing changes, which is used to verify your Netman card is communicating with the UPS. You will see the cursor moving and numbers changing from zeros to actual data from the UPS. 
Receipt of this data verifies that the Netman card is communicating correctly with the UPS. Press Escape to return to the main screen. Now that we have set up the card to communicate with the UPS, we need to get the card to interface with your local network. Select the menu item IP Config and enter the IP address details which should be assigned by your network administrator. Once you've entered your IP address, then press Escape and press Y to accept settings. Then press Enter to return to the main menu. A screen of information appears which is for information only and is not the updated configuration data. This can be ignored unless your network administrator needs the MAC address. Finally, we just need to confirm the Netman card is communicating with your local area network. To do this, we will enable the web page service in the Netman card. So, toggle down the main menu to Services 1 and hit Enter. And toggle down to Activation 1 and hit Enter. Now, select Enable HTTP and press Enter to change the setting to On in green. Then, press Escape and enter Y to accept changes. Press Escape to get back to the main screen and scroll down to Save and Load option. Press Enter and then press Enter again on Save Changes. The Netman card will now reboot with the new settings. Now you can close down Terminal Emulator. Remove the null modem cable and connect the card to your network using a RJ45 cable. Finally, open a web browser and in the address bar, type the assigned static address for the Netman card and press Enter. When you see this screen, this confirms that all communications are active and present. Now you have established connection and set up your PRTK code, you can refer to the manual to customise all your settings. Thanks for watching and if you need any further information, please contact us via email at service at riallo-ups.co.uk. Thank you.